Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to uh, today this video is about transfer of property act and the doctrine of election. Section 35 of Transfer of Property Act incorporates the doctrine of election. So, the section which is related to this doctrine is section 35. We have to remember it. Election means choosing between two consistent, inconsistent or alternative rights. So, what does uh, what is the meaning of election? It means electing means choosing between between what between means there are two things two inconsistent two inconsistent or alternative rights. Under any instrument, if two rights are conferred on a person in just a manner that one right is in lieu of the other, he is bound to elect choose only one of them. A person get then cannot take under uh take take under against the same instrument thus where some money is gifted to a so this is an example of illustration thus where some money is gifted to a and in lieu of it a is required to transfer his house to b in lieu of means is required to transfer his house to b then a will not be allowed to retain his house and also take that gift he cannot enjoy both he will have to choose number one Either taking of the gift in which he must transfer his house to B or to retain his house, in which case he must relinquish the benefit of gift. So he has only two options and no other. In the language of law, it shall be put to election. The doctrine of election is based on equitable principle under which a person may not be allowed to approve that part of an instrument which is beneficial to him and disproved it's that part which goes against him otherwise it will be what miscarriage of justice it will be inequal if he chooses what beneficial to him but on the other hand disapproves that part which goes against him no one can approve it and reprobate at the same time so the line here is given in italic i think so no this is important no one can approve it and reprobate at the same time okay approbate and reprobate this is the word no one can do this at the same time in other words where a person takes some benefit under a deed or instrument deed or instrument okay he must also bear its burden the doctrine of election which is based on equity is applied it is this is based on equity okay it's applied to every species of instrument whether deed or will deed as well as will and to every kind of property, movable or immovable, this is important. Applicability or the equitable principle of election has applied been actually been stated. Thus, election is the this lines are under quotation C. Election is the obligation imposed upon a party by courts. It is an obligation. This obligation is imposed upon a party, and that is so done by court of equity to choose between two inconsistent or alternative rights there are two kinds of rights but these two rights are inconsistent with each other and alternative of each other's and he is under an obligation to choose only one between these two or claims in case where there is clear intention that he should not enjoy both and the reason is that he cannot enjoy both here we see the word no one can approve it and reprobe it at the same time that he should not enjoy both that he who accepts a benefit under a deed or will it, in, it applies to both deed and will as well as movable and removable property must adopt the whole contents of the instrument he must adopt the whole contents of the instrument the contents which is beneficial to him as well as the contents which is not beneficial to him which goes against him Section 35 of the Act makes following provision in respect of the rule of election. Number 1. Where a person professes, a tran professes to transfer a property not his own. So here important thing is Section 35 of the Act makes following provisions in respect of the rule of election. Number 1. Where a person professes to transfer a property not his own. The person professes to transfer a property. Transfer means sale, deed, mortgage or anything. Please. Action will claim anything transfer property, but this property is not his own property. And in lieu of this transfer, the transferor means the transfer means the person making the transfer confers certain benefits upon the owner of the property. 
he confers certain benefit upon the owner of the property and number three the two things are e transfer of property and conferring the benefit from part of the same transaction okay that's why the problem here comes the two things a transfer of property and conferring the benefit from part from form part of the same transactions then the owner of property is bound to elect choose either to take the benefit and transfer his property or to retain his property and give up the benefit either to take the benefit or transfer the property he cannot take the benefit and retain the property either he can take the benefit and transfer the property or he can retain his property and give up the benefit transfer or possesses uh, to transfer property not his own Section 35 applies where a person possesses to transfer the property of another person. Okay, this property is not of his own. Professes means proposed or makes contract. Okay, professes to transfer property. Professes means what is the meaning of professes? It means proposed or makes contract. Thus, since this person is not the owner, he cannot transfer that property. But he can contract or make arrangements for a transfer of that property. He can contract or make arrangements for a transfer of a property which he does not own. Of course, he cannot transfer, but he can make arrangement for transfer. So, you can see the difference. He cannot transfer the property because he has no title over the property. Because he is not the owner of the property. But he can make arrangements for transfer of the property. So the property is not of his own, but somebody else's. Then, since this person is not the owner, he cannot transfer the property. But he can contract or make arrangements for transfer of that property. He can contract or make arrangements for transfer of a property which he does not own. For example, so if you give illustrations in exam, it will give, it will fetch, it will give you more marks. Illustrations are very important along with case laws and relevant provisions of law and also you have to mention the section as well. For example, A may profess to transfer a property to B which is owned by C and also confer on C a benefit of rupees 1000. So here we find three persons A, B and C. A may profess to transfer a property to B. Okay, profess to transfer property to B which is owned by C. C is the owner here. And also confer on C a benefit of rupees 1000. In this contract, A is not transferring C's property. He is simply professing, contracting to transfer a property which he does not own. Therefore, A is not transfer. But for the sake of convenience, herein after A may be called as a transfer. He is not transferred in, in its uh, technical sense, but for the sake of convenience only, he is referred as transfer. He may be called as transfer. However, it is not necessary that transfer should mention it in specific words that he is professing to transfer a property not his own. This is inferred by the court, inferred, okay, by the court from the facts of a particular case and from the language used in the instrument. So there is no need that he, he directly said that I am professing to transfer. The court may infer it from the facts and circumstances of the case. Knowledge of the fact that transferor has no authority to transfer the property is immaterial for applicability of the rule of election. Second paragraph of this section makes it clear that the rule applies whether the transferor does or does not believe that, that the property which he professing to transfer is not his own. The transferor may have misunderstood or forgotten about his rights in the property or may profess to transfer it due to any other reasons. Then comes benefit conferred on the owner of property. Benefit. The transferor must confer any benefit on the, on the owner of property. The word owner in this section has a very wide meaning. Wide meaning, not narrow. It includes a person having vested in interest as well as contingent interest so we have already read vested and contingent interest vested means immediate present contingent depends upon certain uh, fulfillment of certain conditions so does not create an immediate present right and also a person who has even reversionary or remote interest in the property so we know who his reversionary reversionary of widow uh, who is entitled to inherit the property on left or that of the widow Okay, reversion, we have read it in Hindu law or remote interest in the property. So, what is this? The owner in this section has a very wide meaning. It includes, it includes those things. A person having vested interest as well as contingent interest and also a person who has reversion or remote interest in the property. These all persons are included under a term or definition owner. It is the owner of property who is put to election. 
therefore he must be given some benefit in compensation for his ownership of the property to attract the application of this rule there must be two sets of rights okay there must be two sets of rights one the right of ownership and the other a benefit given under the instrument so first of all there is must be a right of ownership and second the benefit given under the instrument in other words the occasion for election arises only when a benefit is directly conferred on the owner of the property where benefit is given to the owner otherwise then not for transferring property or is given to him indirectly there is no case for election for example we need to read examples to understand the concept properly a professes to transfer c's property to b there are three person a b and c a professes to transfer c's property c is the owner here to b and give his gives rupees five thousand to wife of c okay wife of c gets rupees five thousand this is benefit this is not direct benefit to c and therefore c has no need to elect in valley um my versus nagappa a testator purported to bequest a joint family property to his co-personer a testator okay testator uh, purported to bequeath a co joint family property it is a joint family property to his co-personer the co-personer was otherwise under the hindu land entitled to that property the supreme court held that the co-personer could not be said to have der derived any benefit under the will and was not put to elections so this is a case law you can go out in write in exam valiam mai versus nagappa part of the same transaction so rule of election operates only when the transfer and benefit from part of the same transaction transfer and benefit okay by same means the transaction is mean that the transfer of property is to be made in, in, evidently only in lieu of the benefit in lieu the word in lieu is important here in lieu of the benefit that's why it forms part of the same transaction thus where the benefit and transfer are independent and inseparable independent interdependent interdependent means they are mutually dependent on each other and inseparable they cannot be separate because they form part of the same transaction they form part of the same transaction there is no election if the two are independent transactions However, there is not necessary independent no election if they are two are independent transactions. Independent means to which do not form part of the same transactions. They are completely different. However, it is not necessary that these two transactions are provided on one instrument. It is possible that two separate instruments may be executed to carry out one and the same transaction. So it's not necessary that there must be one instrument, there may be two separate instruments as well. Similarly, it is also possible that there is only one instrument containing two separate and independent transactions. So it's a different matter of how many instruments are there. In Muhammad Afjal versus Ghulam Qasim, after the death of Nawab of Tank, the government while transferring shift uh, transferring what shift shift um of Nawab's eldest son transferred some cash allowance to Nawab's second son second son okay the Nawab in his lifetime had already granted to village to the second son for his maintenance the privy council had intended to grant cash by the government and village just by villages by two villages by Nawab himself in his life came to second kept son from two different sources they were put not they were not part of the same transitions to the second son was not put to election because it was different because in the, uh, during the lifetime of nawab he gave two villages he granted two villages to his son and what after for his maintenance and also um, transferring a government okay what, what was the case here after the death of the nawab of tank after his death during his lifetime he transferred to villages and after his death the government had transferred to the government transferred ship ship of one in, in a nawab's eldest son transferred some cash allowances to nawab's second son okay cash allowance that's why they do not form part of the same transactions muhammad of jal versus gulam kashim you have to remember the case though. that's very important muhammad of jal versus gulam kashim Owner's duty to elect. The operative part of section 35 is that if a property is possessed to be transferred and in the same transaction some benefit is given to the owner of property. Owner's duty to elect. So now it's owner's duty to elect. Uh, the operative part of section 35 is that if a property is professed to be transferred and, and in the same transaction some benefit is given to the owner of property then just owner is under a duty to elect. By this, so we have read three essentials, right? By these directions, he may either accept the instrument with its all contents or reject it altogether. But he cannot accept 
one part and another reject and another which is disadvantage to him. He has no options to accept only the beneficial part of instrument. Where he likes to accept the instrument, he is entitled to get the benefit. But he is bound to transfer his property. If he likes to reject the instrument, he cannot claim benefit, but he may retain his property. So he has only two options and no others. That is also number one. He has no option to accept only the beneficial part of the property. Okay. By desolation, he may either accept the instrument with all which is all contains or reject it altogether. This point. This. Then comes however the duty to elect arise only when the person acts in one and the another capacity. That is to say, he is a person who gets benefit and also owns the property. No question of election can arise where a person has two different capacities, but under the circumstances they are merged in one person. Where a person has to act in two different capacities, example, one is individual owner, another vicarious example as guardian or trustee, he may accept the benefit in the capacity, one capacity and reject the other of instrument in another capacity. This is a different case. Then mode of election. Election may be expressed or implied. So it may be expressed and it may be implied. It is a question of intentions of the owner of property who is give uh, who is given the benefit. So it is the question about intention. Intention from the owner of the property who is given the benefit. He may express his intention in clear and specific words. It is expressed when it is expressed in clear and specific words where election is expressed. It is final and conclusive. The intention of the owner may also be inferred from the, his acts and conduct. So um, this is called implied. When it is to be inferred from his acts and conduct. Then comes implied elections. Election is implied when the owner of the property. Um, owner of the property what? Yeah, being aware of his duty to elect and having full knowledge of the circumstances. Accepts the benefit. A. Number A. Being aware of the of his duty to elect. And 2. Having full knowledge of the circumstances. Accepts the benefit. Just elections will mean that he has chosen favor of transactions. In other words, where the owner knowingly accepts the benefit, it amounts to his elections in favor of the transactions. In the following circumstances, there is presumption that he has knowingly accepted benefit. Number one, where the owner has enjoyed the benefit for two years without doing set of refusals or dissent of the transactions or Two, where the owner of the property exhausts or consumes the benefit. Thus, whether he has done some act which renders it impossible to place the party's interest in the property in the same conditions as before. These two gives presumptions of his elections for accepting the benefit. Then comes for instance, and this is illustrations. Illustrations are very important. A transfers to B at state owned by C. There are three person A B C. A transfers to B at state owned by C. C is the owner of the state. And as part of the same transaction gives to C as coal. C a coal mine. C does not elect in expressed words, but the exposition of the coal mine. It is not expressed, it does not clear and specifically by words spoken say that I do accept. The, but what he does is his act and conduct. He takes positions of the coal mine and exhausts it. C is presumed to have elected to take the benefit and thereby transfer his property to B. This is so. And also he transfers his property to B. Not only he uh, takes the position of coal mine, but also transfers his position to property to B. This is so because if C now designs the transaction, it will not be possible for him to place the parties A and C in the position prior to his exhausting the said coal mine. Then comes requisitions to elect. Requisitions, which are sensible to elect. This is a special procedure for expanding elections after the expiry of one year. This is a special procedure for expe expediting election after the expiry of one year. If owner of property does not elect, i.e., neither confirms nor dissents from the transfer, the transferee may require him to make such elections. And if he does not elect within a reasonable time after such requisition, he is deemed to have affected elected in favor of the transfer. Suspension of election. Where at the time of transfer? At the time of transfer, okay? The election. Elector, i.e. owner property, is legally, elector means what? Owner property is legally disabled, okay? The election is postponed until such disability ceased. Until such disability ceased or until the election is made in his behalf by a competing authority. Example, his guardian. Okay, it is postponed. Then... Legal disability may be minority or lunacy. Yeah, legal disability, not physical or mental disability. The word legal is used here. It means it may be due to minority or lunacy of the elector. Thus, his duty to elect is suspended during his minority or lunacy unless 
the election is made by his legal guardian legal guardian okay legal guardian is an exception election against so suspension of election I mean postponement postponed uh, so it may be suspended due to minority legal disability that this minority and lunacy except in case of uh, when it is made by his legal guardian you can frame this sentence in a very short manner uh, election against transfer the owner of property whose duty is to make election has freedom to elect either for the transfer or against it for or against okay where he elects against uh, e descends from possess possessed transfer he forfeits his claim to the benefit conferred on him he has to, he cannot claim benefit the benefits of conferred reverts back to the transfer or his representative however he can claim any other benefit which is given to him independently of the transfers because independently means it do not form part of the same transactions of the transfer under the same instrument it doesn't matter whether the instrument is same or different for example where a person is given to benefits x and y under an instrument when a person is given to benefit X and Y under an instrument, but only Y has given in lieu of property, then if he lacks against the transfer, he profits only benefit X. But he is entitled to claim benefit Y. Then right of disappointed transferee. When the owner of property elects against a transfer, when the owner of property, okay, owner of property elects against, not for, okay, against a transfer, the transferee to whom the property was possessed to be transferred cannot get the property, okay. And the transferor also cannot get the benefit. He becomes disappointed as he must have entertained some hope of getting the property. However, such disappointed transfer is not allowed to be a helpless person. He has the following rights. Helpless person, okay. He, he has the following rights. Number one, where the transfer is gratuitous, without consideration. Gratuitous means without consideration. And the transferor dies or becomes incapable of making fresh transfer. And two, where the transfer is with considerations, not great to speak. Where he is alive or dead or at the time of elections. The transfer is entitled to get a reasonable compensation from the transferor for his legal or his representative. Uh, the transfer is entitled to get reasonable compensation. In what cases? Only in cases when he is helpless. Helpless here, the helpless word is used here. Um, he can get this, uh, that compensation either from the transferor himself or from his representatives. Reasonable compensation means compensation equal to value of property professed to be transferred. Only reasonable and not arbitrary or something like that. Illustrations. The farm of Sultanpur is the property of C. The farm of Sultanpur is the property of C. And its market value is rupees 800. A by an instrument professes to transfer it to B. A and of course A is not the owner. By an instrument professes to transfer it to B, giving by the same instrument a benefit of rupees one thousand to C. Benefits of rupees one thousand. C elects against the transfer and decides to retain his firm. She forfeits the benefit of rupees one thousand to reverts back to A and him or his representatives. Now if A dies before C makes elections, his representatives must compensate B, disappointed transferee. By giving B rupees eight hundred out of rupees one thousand. English law. Under English law, where the election is against the instrument, the benefit does not revert to the transfer when the election is what against uh, against, not for but against the instrument. The benefit does not revert to the transfer, the owner of property while rejecting uh, the transfer may insist upon taking also the benefit conferred on him. He is therefore called a refractory donee or a rebellious re donee. But just refractory donee takes the benefit subject to a charge compensate the disappointed transferee. The transfer is representative are not liable to compensate him. Thus, in the above illustrations, the owner of property C, while electing against the transfer, will take also the benefit of rupees 1000. Okay, but C will be liable to give rupees 800 to B, the disappointed transferee. A or his uh, representatives are not liable to compensate B. So, this was all about doctrine of election under Transfer of Property Act, and this is section 35 of Transfer of Property Act. Thank you, thanks for watching. Do not forget to subscribe. 23.50 almost 24 minutes.